with all respect to Twente, who's a really, really good team, then, then I look at our uh, self and, and yeah, I got high expectations. Uh, Brio gefeliciteerd met de drie punten. Uh, okay. ja, jouw analyse van de wedstrijd eerst. Ja, yeah. as expected a, a bit. Difficult game against a good team. Uh, who's good organized, got good individual quality and, and also good quality as a, as a team. We started off the, the game really poor. Uh, gave away a big chance on a set piece. Uh, gave away possession too easy. We were not good enough in, in, the, in the pressure or in, in the defensive part. Uh, and then at the same time, we, um, we didn't keep the ball. And then, uh, then you give initiative away and, and control of the game. And then uh, we had a good period where we, um, where we scored a couple of good goals and uh, were more dominant and better on the ball, better in the pressure. And then, yeah, then, then they actually um, score in, the, in a phase where I actually think we were in good in control and we didn't concede anything. And then the last 15 minutes is, uh, is just a battle. To, um, to pick up three points. Ja. Je begint al te vertellen over de start van, uh, van de wedstrijd, de jullie start van de wedstrijd. O, wat gaat daarin mis in jouw ogen? Uh, good question, I don't know. I, I, I haven't seen it again. My, my first feeling is we, um, yeah, we, we get outplayed too easy and then they get a, a, a corner and then they, they end up with a really big chance that the team on saves us. Um, and then from there on we struggled. Uh, we, we lost the ball um, a few times, as I remember correct. Uh, Ayase didn't keep it as I was hoping. Um, and, and then you end up defending your own goal too, too much. De, dit blok zit er nu op, komt de Interland breek aan. Hoe kijk je, als je op, op dit hele blok terugkijkt, wat, wat overheerst er dan nu? Um, yeah, good things, bad things. Uh, overall, we picked up some points uh, here at the end. We, uh, we let some, some draws uh, hang in that, that we're not happy with. Uh, but definitely this week has been a good one. I think we're... Uh, We're getting uh, closer to what we want uh, as a team. Um, good performance in, in Spain, good performance in some elements uh, today. But um, yeah, unfortunately, there's still a, a long way to go for us because uh, you see it also today. We're not consistent enough over 90 minutes. We still give away phases of the game that we, we need to be more dominant. With all respect to Twente, who's a really, really good team, then, then I look at our uh, self and... and Yeah, I got higher expectations uh, than, than giving away uh, momentum uh, in the first period of the game and also in the second half. Van de week hadden we het even over uh, Ueda hè? en uh, naar Girona. Hoe moet je nou vandaag zijn optreden beoordelen? Maakt een goede kopgoal, maar tegelijkertijd mist hij kort voor rust de kans om die wedstrijd definitief te beslissen. Hoe, 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 ja, hoe beoordeel je dat dan? Ja, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's definitely a performance that is, is a bit uh, up and down. Um, As I said already, I would have liked him to keep the ball a little bit more than uh, than he did in the first half. I think we actually found him a few times. Balin uh, had a good passing line directly to him, where uh, we all expect him to keep it and do better. Um, and then at the same time, he, he scored an important goal and, and had the moment to to destroy and kill the game. But uh, for some reason, he he didn't get that quality in. I think it's it's uh, it's a matter of of confidence for uh, for Ayase. He he's been in now for some time and then haven't maybe really had that feeling that he was a proper starter and, and now all, or not all, but a lot of pressure is on his shoulders and, and he needs to show his qualities because you see it today. The, the minute he, uh, he's, he's top performing, he's, he's a really good striker and we've seen it also with Japan. So it's, it's my and it's our job to, uh, to help him get his qualities out also here at, uh, at Feyenoord. Is hij dan misschien iemand die met de mindset coach moet gaan praten? Uh, <laughs> Uh, he, he's already doing that. Uh, even though the, the mindset coach is not speaking Japanese, then uh, then they have good talks and 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 they're trying to help. Um, I think it's 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 not just the the, the mindset because he he's he's a really professional. He's um, he's working hard every day. He's he's professional in his uh, approach to his body and and stuff like this. Uh, and he's a good boy. He he really wants to. Um, so as I said, I think it it comes down to some confidence, feeling the confidence from the players around him, teammates, uh, that he maybe has in, in Japan when he's with them. And that's also sometimes uh, what I'm talking about. It, it, it's, a, it's a human game. It's, uh, it's not just PlayStation uh, and everything. It's, it comes down to how you feel uh, comfortable in the building and on the training pitch with your teammates and, and stuff like this. And, um, and that, that sometimes can have an impact on the performances.